How's it going everyone? Hopefully you're doing well. Welcome back to day three of the advent calendar. Today we have the M4190 which is the German version of the Bulldog. Um, it's a good tank however because the Hawk 30 was on day one if you didn't get the Hawk 30 then you're clearly waiting for something better or you're not interested in German light tanks. Um, if that's the case then this is just not worth it. Um, for all intents and purposes this is the same thing as a Hawk 30. Some people say it's better, some people say it's worse. Um, it just depends on how you kind of look at the tank. Um, yes, it kind of is a lot shorter uh, than the Hawk 30. I mean, if we go back to the garage, you'll see what I mean. Hawk 30 is a little bit lower profile. Um, so there's, there's pros and cons to both of it. The guns are very, very similar. Um, it is not the same gun though. This is the Bulldog's gun. Now. It does get 182 standard pen, which is very, very similar to the 187 standard pen that the Hawk 30 gets, but this is AP, and APCR on the Hawk 30, albeit it's not very fast, these rounds on the Bulldog's gun go very, very slow. We are talking around about 830 shell velocity, so if you do not like slow shell velocity, this is not going to be your tank. Um, I feel like this actually ruins the tank completely, so yeah. It's just, I don't know what they're thinking. Like the Hawk 30 is, sure, it doesn't get as much DPM as the M4190. However, the shell velocity increase and the accuracy increase as well, you get the Hawk 30 is more accurate and has mu like massive, massive shell velocity increase. Um, yeah, I don't think this is worth it, especially if you didn't pick up the Hawk 30. Considering that this is more money than the Hawk 30, it just doesn't make sense. As you can see, if we just put it in a comparison between the two, yes, it gets more DPM, but you're trading off the accuracy. You also get 10 degrees of gun depression, which is quite nice, although you don't have any armor, but still, the gun depression is really, really nice. And for any tank, it doesn't just mean like well-armored tanks. Um, and also, you get 10 less view range on the M41, not to mention less camo. If we go to configure quickly, I'll show you what I mean. The AP rounds, 830 shell velocity. The heat rounds, 830 shell velocity. The HE rounds, 773 shell velocity. And on the Hawk 30, the standard rounds go at 1080 shell velocity. The heat rounds go at 1145. And the HE rounds go at 755. Obviously the HE is gonna go the slowest, but the heat round difference between these two tanks is like night and day, the difference. So I do not think that this tank is worth it at all. Um, I feel like there is, like the Hawk 30 is still in the game. Like you could go and get it right now if you want. It is literally right here. And I don't actually know how much it's worth. How much is it worth? Well, I mean, considering that the Hawk 30 is exactly the same price as the M4190, what is the point of getting the M4190? <laughs> I know that some of you are going to like it more than the Hawk 30. I know. Um, and to those of you, sure like good on you but objectively speaking the hawk 30 is a better tank like sure it's bigger and for those of you that like really really small tanks um or compact tanks i should say um then yes like the bulldog might be better for you but considering that the hawk 30 still gets better camo rating i don't know i don't really see the point in it i also want to mention something so i went onto the store and under the featured things here for some reason i still have this for 16. I think that this is part of Twitch Prime. So if you have Twitch Prime and you missed out on the Hawk 30 deal, maybe check this because I'm not sure where this has come from because they don't really say. But yeah, this is exactly the same deal as the Advent Calendar Day 1. I think it has to be through Twitch Prime or Prime Gaming, whatever they're calling it now, because all of these were in uh, like offers offers as well so yeah hawk 30 is better so that has been it for today hopefully this was informative in some way for you um let me know if you're going to pick this tank up or not and uh, make sure you accept your missions and i'll see you all in the next one